In this video, we are diving into a crucial update for your NMC OSCE. Intramuscular injection station now uses streptomycin in place of hydrozocobalamin. It's worth mentioning that streptomycin is not a penicillin based. So it will be very wrong for you to say you will not be administering streptomycin to a patient that is allergic to penicillin. It's not going to be a fail, but you are likely to get an invitation to come back to the exam center. And you know what that means. Streptomycin is an aminoglycoside. It is not a penicillin derivative. Here is what you need to know about the dosage and the preparation. The prescribed dose for streptomycin is 900 mg. The volume is 0.9 ml. Mind you, the gap between 0.9 ml and 1 ml is just a thin line. Yes, you would not want to make that costly mistake by drawing up to 1 ml and say it's an oversight it might not be pardonable. Yes. Just like you would do when it was hydrozocobalamin injection that was used as vitamin B12, it's still the same thing that is going to be applicable in this station. The strategies, the procedure does not change outrightly. However, some things has changed, but not all. First, positioning and injection site. This part is often overlooked, but it could be critical, especially for your husky. Ask the patient to lie on his or her left lateral position. And for the injection site, you are going to administer the medication to the right vastus lateralis, that is, the lateral thigh muscle. Why choosing this injection site? The reason is, it is safe distance from major nerves, and versus a thick muscle is ideal for deep IM, such as streptomycin. Also, it is easier for the nurse administering the injection when patient is lying on their left side. Like I said earlier, the technique hasn't changed. Here is the step-by-step -step approach you should follow in this station. First, perform your hand hygiene as you would do normally. Secondly, explain the procedure to the patient and obtain informed consent. Position the patient in left lateral. Next, select correct needle size. It could be blue, that is 23 gauge, or green, 21 gauge. Either of these two needles is perfect. Use angle 90 and inject steadily, leaving about 1 cm of the needle outside and give the medication over 10 seconds. Leave the needle in place for another 10 seconds, then withdraw rapidly. Do not aspirate unless the local policy says to. After administration of the medication, put a piece of gauze on the injection site and apply adhesive tape. If document appropriately and accurately, here are some of the common errors that you must avoid. First, drawing wrong volume of the injection. That is, if it is lesser than 0.9 mil, it's going to be wrong. If it is more than 0.9 mil, it's still going to be a fail. So importantly, you need to study the graduation between 0.5 to 1 mil. You need to really study to know what each graduation represent that is how many units does each graduation on the syringe represent that will make you to know when you are drawing the correct volume of the medication as prescribed the second error to avoid is choosing the wrong injection site another error could be wrong positioning also forgetting to check the allergy status of the patient could be critical a quick recap on what was discussed earlier. Intramuscular injection station now uses streptomycin in place of, of hydrozocobalamin. Dosage is 900 mg. The injection site is right fastus lateralis. The position is left lateral. The syringe to use is either 1 or 2 mL. The needle size could be 21 or 23 gauge, that is 
either green or blue needle. That is it for today, colleagues. If this video has helped you, do not forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your colleague who is also preparing to write the same exam with you. Drop a comment if you would like a full mock on this. And do not forget to subscribe for more OSCE tips. I will see you in my subsequent videos. And until then, keep practicing OSCE. Bye.